What's going on ladies and gentlemen, right here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be the full moon into Sagittarius happening on May <clears throat> 29th, 2018. I'm sorry for my voice, it does look like I'm catching up cold, uh, but <clears throat> I'd like to take a few moments to, to tell you I, a few updates. First of all, I do want to apologize for the delay of the uh, June videos. This is due and an ongoing, it's not even an issue, but it's something I need to do. So I didn't have the time to do them, but they will be up in the next couple of days. So you get to, to watch them very, very soon. Hello, Kimberly. How are you doing? I'm quite well, actually. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. And the second thing is that I am considering making the numerology reports from July ongoing. <clears throat> For that purpose, should I make them or not? I will make a video for what you know one numerology report is all about. Because uh, many, because when I was doing them without the explanation, many people were very very confused. So I don't want that to happen. Because numerology is more about how old are you, how, how old you are than what kind of star sign you are, uh, what is your ascendant, etc, etc. Et Jesus, I have something in my eye. Anyway, so yeah, I will make video very soon what numerology report is all about and all of your opinions will matter and if you want me to continue on making these reports, I will continue doing so and there will be completely separate videos from Taro, so who wants Whoever wants to watch numerology, they get to watch it on a separate video. And uh, whoever wants to watch just tarot and only tarot, they get to watch it <clears throat> straight away. So uh, <clears throat> on a different video. So um, this will, <laughs> this particular li live stream will be for the Sagittarius full moon happening today, or it already happened. All right, and it's going to be the usual five card spread, which the first three cards does point to uh, the material aspect of the uh, lunar cycle, and the next couple of cards will represent the ethereal or the spiritual aspect of the lunar cycle. Uh, thank you, Diana. Thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, now I'm going to shuffle. And while I'm shuffling, I want to remind you that at the end of the stream, I mean, when I'm done with Pisces, uh, the audience get to ask questions. I call it blitz. All right. So there will be a blitz for uh, several questions and the, the audience get to uh, get to answer those questions. I will pick the most interesting questions or those questions which pulls me toward and I'm going to answer to them with one draw of a tarot card. This is the way you get a, uh, a free reading. Now, in case you want more profound reading with me, you know, you can check out my website, which is written here in the description of this video, and you can choose a variety of services that you can purchase. And as soon as the purchase goes through, I will contact you to schedule your uh, the time which is comfortable for you for your reading. So that being said, going from Aries, all the way to Pisces, shuffling now, and the first one goes Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising. Now, in case you don't know, um, <clears throat> you know what the Aries Moon, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising is going to represent. You know, the Aries, uh, Aries, sun, the Sun sign does represents the uh, situations, you know, or what you're gonna go through. If your Moon sign is Aries, then you need to listen what kind of emotions you are going to uh, experience during this lunar cycle, all right? And if you are Aries Ascendant or Aries Rising, then it's how you're going to tackle with, with uh, what is going on. So when you listen to your Sun, Moon and Ascendant, you will know how you're going to feel, what you have to deal with and how you need to deal with, all right? So pretty much that is the explanation of Sun, Moon and Ascendant. So hello everybody, and uh, starting with Aries, oh the Sun, Moon and Ascendant, the first card which points the topic of uh, the Lunar Cycle, that is going to be the Five of Cups, second card is the Ten of Wands which is the issues or the challenges that you need to overcome, third card is Intentions, 
that you should have during this lunar cycle. This is the chariot card. The fourth one is the lesson that you need to learn. That is the two of uh, the two of swords. And last but not least, we do have the energy supporting you through this lunar cycle, Aries. This is the page of pentacles. So uh, all speaks for a, a very big toils that you need to put during this lunar cycle. You will be quite overburdened career-wise, work-wise, in case you are a um, <clears throat> jobless right now. These cards, what I can tell you is that these cards are pointing that you are going to find a job, but that job is not going to be something you would really like to work. Therefore, you have to start from somewhere, you know, you, you, you got to start that particular job and simultaneously with that search for a, a different one. So you have those who are jobless have a, a opportunity to start something to work, you know, but it's not going to be as um, <clears throat> as lucrative and as interesting as they want to. Anyway, those who already have job, however, they will have to face big responsibilities and they will have to face a certain co code of conduit they need to follow. That being said, they will have to please many people around them, all right? And at a certain point, they're going to feel that there is a, a lot hanging on on their shoulders. That being said, um, also, they, their work, or kind of like their performance will depend on the assessment of somebody else's, all right? And this may make this may make you Aries is in a state of despondency. So what happens here <clears throat> and what your state should be during this particular lunar cycle is to push your things to, through the very end. Or in our country, we do have that sentence um, I kind of literally translate it, okay, because it doesn't make any sense to you or to the English language, but <clears throat> pretty much it, it kind of like reflects that you can't always work something interesting or something easy and make big money from it, okay? Sometimes you just need to uh, this, not destroy, but really bang the rock and try to deal with the rock and kind of like decimate the rock, all right? So big work. It is what awaits you during this lunar cycle, Aries. A lot of uh, a lot of efforts and a lot of toils, and they will not be uh, returnable in investments. All right, during this lunar cycle, if further into the future, yes, but not during this lunar cycle. All right. So uh, why this is happening is what we can see here in the last couple of cards. It does points that everything happens with the time. Without the foundation, you can't actually build up something. So what you are doing here in these couple of weeks is the foundation of the big structure that you have the opportunity to do so in the future. Not to mention that we do have the two of swords as a lesson saying that <clears throat> There is more than one way to look at something, which means that by you toiling around, it is a um, uh, this is the way how you are going to get the full perspective or the full picture of the situations you are finding yourself at into your career. And as an energist, we do have the page of pentacles supporting you, which does point that your investments will be sound and safe, which means that even if you are not going to return them straight away during these couple of weeks of period, they will be returned further into the future in the next couple of months, in the next six months, maybe until the next year. This tarot reading goes for one year the most, just so you know. So that was for Aries. Now let me shuffle and we can go to Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising. Hello, Anne. How are you doing? All right. So one card pop up for Taurus, which I take that this is going to be the uh, topic of their uh, lunar cycle. That will be the Tree of Pentacles. Then is the Knight of Wands, which is the challenges that they need to overcome. King of Wands 
it is the intentions that they need to follow. Uh, then we do have the lesson that they need to learn that is going to be the full card. And last but not least, we do have the Emperor as an energies which are going to support you. So let me leave those couple of cards aside. And the material aspect here is that you will have quite a lot of idea you, what you will want to implement into your environment, career or relationship wise. It does not matter. What happens here is that we do have the Three of Pentacles as a topic of the week. The Great Week in Alistair Crowley does express that card as the ocean of opportunities and it is the way I am seeing it, especially as we do have the Knight of Wands in a second challenging position. And Knight of Wands, it is your state, you know, exploring every single opportunity from that particular ocean. And these opportunities are not brand new opportunities. Let's say that these are enterprises that you can uh, involve yourself in and have your time spent very pleasant and very well. Now, what happens, however, with the Knights of Wands, especially in a challenging position, is that you can get quite of a uh, carried away with all those activities without being able to focus strictly on one particular enterprise, on one particular task and bring it to its very end. That being said, you have the tendency or rather there is the manners here that you may find yourself very scattered and from many you may end up with none. All right. So that will be the threat for you, Tauruses, or it's not even a threat. It is more like a, a manners that you need to overcome. So what you need to do here in order to overcome that particular state of not knowing which to choose because everything looks so awesome, but you don't have the time for everything. There is a, a person around you here with the uh, King of Wands who knows uh, pretty much, uh, how can I really express it? That is someone who has a, a high uh, sense of um, business subtlety, all right? So this one really knows how much can profit from one thing to another, either into one relationship or into one career. That being said, this person is going to actually review you how things are going to go in every single thing you want to jump in. That being said, you will be able to scale very well where to invest yourself in. So what happens for you, Taurus, just to summarize that in the material aspect of your, um, of your lunar cycle is that you need to listen to the sound advice of someone who is much more experienced than you are in those kind of fields that you want to invest yourself in. All right. And then we do have the full card as a lesson you need to learn. And that is very important here because the full card as a lesson speaks that you need to be how can I place it? You need to be open, not just for everything new, but as well, this card relates the, the leap of faith. And in that particular sense, you have to trust that person which is telling you which thing that you want to invest from all that is around you. It is best for you. You need to trust that person and follow their pointer or rather the finger that they point you toward. All right. So it's all about being, uh, how can I place it? <clears throat> you know, being, uh, being with a, 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 being with absolute lack of surreptitious intentions, if I may say it that way, all right? And last but not least, we do have the energies which are going to support you. We have the emperor. Emperor reflects structure. Em emperor reflects, re uh, reflects responsibilities. Emperor reflects as well, control, all right? Uh, and this is what is going to support you here. So whatever idea you will, you choose to follow, all right? Whatever you uh, invest yourself in and you kind of like tunnel it, all right? You will be able to structure it, um, <clears throat> make a, 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 a correct strategy, how to move on forward, take full responsibility for your actions. That being said, once you establish control upon whatever it is going on, uh, <clears throat> then you are going to find yourself with a much bigger liberty around you. What I mean is that you will have quite a lot of time as well to reflect to your own personal need, apart from that awesome opportunity coming in your way, Tauruses. All right, so now going to uh, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising.
Well, Holly is another two are listening, isn't it? Good evening, Elizabeth. Nice to meet you, Wendy. I know Terry Capricorn is quite far away from now. We are a Gemini, and Gemini just got the same card as the Atopicus um, Taurus did. We have the Three of Pentacles. Second card is the Eight of Cups, which is the challenges that they need to overcome here. Then we do have the Magician card, Intentions. <clears throat> All right. Then is uh, the lesson that they need to learn. That will be the Knight of uh, Wands. And last but not least, we do have the King of Wands as in an energies which are going to support you, Geminis. And it does look like that a lot of negotiations are awaiting you during that particular week. So how you need to approach those negotiations, either with um, a business interest or love interest, it will be all about negotiating, all right? So what you need to do here is first be very confident and show that you do have extreme sovereignty upon your personal life. That is very important. You need to show to the people that they cannot mess around with you. They cannot put obligations, nor they can demand things without having, uh, without supporting themselves with something given in return, all right? So it has to go both ways. Because we do have the Eight of Cups here in a negative position, and the Eight of Cups does point to the, um, how can I place it, affinity to submission from your behalf, just so you don't, just because you do want that thing to just go away, you know, and you want to move on from it and uh, <clears throat> you don't want to deal with it anymore. That being said, you may strike a, a very disadvantageable deal. You may uh, lose certain benefits from a situation just because you don't want to, uh, it's not even struggling, but you don't want to deal with it, all right? It's, it's quite annoying. But as soon as you show the sovereignty behind, as soon as you show the arguments and the confidence you do have and you and you take advantage of your um, acute sense of leading negotiations or rather like the extreme subtlety into one communications that you do have Gemini's in this particular lunar cycle then for what it seems people will see the reasons be, uh, the reason behind your uh, your words because the tree of pentacles in your case it is a about um you know, trying to establish a, a common ground with certain people so you can have either their support through your development or the support will be mutual through a, a mutual uh, for a, a mutual development. All right. There will be a lot of criticism from both sides of how the things needs to be done or what needs to be uh, achieved at the very end. <clears throat> that being said, you have to show yourself capable to lead the team uh, because you can lead the team all right uh, the only thing that can obstruct you here um, is uh, the lack of self-confidence so you have to really draw from that from your uh, self-confidence and then we have the lesson you need to learn during this lunar cycle that will be the knight of wands so knight of wands in your particular case does show that <clears throat> you will be able to go uh, to, uh, how can I place it, to conquer the, the hearts of those you are leading uh, negotiations with by showing how willing you are to help them, all right? Because the Knight of Wands, in your particular case, says that you need to give a, a helping hand. <clears throat> First, you need to take care of, uh, you, you need to show readiness that you are ready to deal with their problems as well and then that you are ready to deal with your problems or something like this you know but you need to show that you are ready to share the burden to share the responsibility to give a helping hand and the energies which are going to support you here that will be the king of wands and these are energies totally reflecting the presence you are going to show uh, a presence of a natural born leader so take advantage of that. 
All right, so that was for Gemini. It's now going to Cancer, which is Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising. Again, I want to uh, remind you guys that these are general readings. You know, and under general readings with five cards, I cannot cover up the global population of Cancers or of Gemini's for that matter. Um, <clears throat> The amplification of the resonation of these readings will differ for every single one of us, all right? So it may reflect something significant in your life or something that you find very insubstantial for your life as well. That being said, you will not feel the effect of the reading whatsoever. And as well, <clears throat> at the end of the stream, I'm going to make a blitz, which is answering questions from the audience so if you want a free reading with me, this is the way you get it. You either stay to the end of the stream or you catch me by surprise, by a chance, excuse me. And it's going to be by surprise again as well, by a chance uh, <clears throat> when I'm done with Pisces. All right, so Cancers, we do have for you the Temperance as a first card, which points the topic. I already did. <clears throat> Hoi am. I, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. Um, if you want to listen for Aries, then uh, you, can, you can watch the replay either here on Facebook or the video is going to be uploaded as well on YouTube after I'm done. So... <clears throat> Temperance, that will be the topic for cancers. Then we do have the emperor, which is the challenge that cancer needs to overcome. Star card, it is the uh, <clears throat> intentions that they need to show. Then we do have the six of pentacles, which is the uh, lesson that you need to learn. And last but not least, we do have the eight of swords, which, is, which uh, represents the energies that are going to support you. So for what it seems, you have to carry someone along the way. What I mean is that this could be someone in your career which is um, <clears throat> which cannot catch up all right, with uh, the motion of the team and therefore you have to as well help them and deal with their job either so they can keep up with the team or that could be in your relationship, you know, and you need to uh, <clears throat> help your partner catch up with you in a certain state, etc., etc. This reading for you, Cancers, it is all about helping, all right? It is all about helping people and the issue here is going to be the emperor and the emperor shows that it will be very tough to organize those people all right it will be very tough to make them take on a responsibility behind the words that they are saying <clears throat> So what happens is that you, you need to show example here with the star card intention wise, all right? You need to make those people see that actually, um, how can I place it, that your standpoint, it is the right standpoint. And that could happen only by you showing them that they can really rely on your unconditional support. As soon as you start making demands or you kind of like you start putting on strings, or rather, how can I place it here? Uh, <clears throat> obligations and as well um, conditions was the word I'm searching for. They will quickly uh, kind of like lose interest in, um, <clears throat> in your offers and as well in your efforts to help them push the things through. Uh, very important here is to be acknowledged that you need to as well honor their uh, their words or kind of like their their points of view and their opinion. Compassion is the way you go forward. So uh, what I what I'm trying to say here is that um, how can I place it? It is very superficial reading, first of all. So uh, if you have a, an issues into your relationship and you're feeling that your partner is really pulling pulling itself away from you and you are feeling that there is a, a bigger and bigger separation, a bigger and bigger gap in between you. This is because there is some sort of a lack of compassion from both sides. It's kind of like a, this is because you for some reason are not showing that you honor your partner's point of view and your partner's um, <clears throat> standpoint and, and and it is vice versa you know you could be the one who is withdrawing so that being said 
instead of uh, keeping up a silent treatment, not just a conversation, but as, but as well actions toward making an example will be much beneficial for you. And the lesson you need to learn here during this lunar cycle cancer is that will be the six of pentacles, which points that, <clears throat> how can I place it here? I will tell you the sentence for that card, all right? <clears throat> and the sentence says that when you when you give when you make a gift to someone, you know, if the gift is given from a from your pure heart, no matter how much it costs, the, the jest itself that you are doing, you know, the gesture itself or giving a gift that you are doing means more to the receiver than the cost of the gift itself. That being said, even the smallest effort you make for to get closer and closer with these people that needs your help, all right? <clears throat> this is all it takes here, just to show that you're ready to make the connection back again, and everything will start happening for you. And the energies which are going to support you here, Cancer, that is the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords as an energy does points that uh, <clears throat> you will be quite stubborn for the better and for the good here. So this is going to be a, a positive stubbornness. Even if you are pushed back, even if this person is trying to ignore you, etc., etc., uh, this won't work on you and ultimately with your ten this isn't stubbornness excuse me it's tenacity all right so your tenacity at the end is going to prevail and uh <coughs> excuse me as well eight of swords this points uh, as an energy supporting points that some um issues and misunderstandings in one communication in between two parties is going to be cleared out so that was uh, for Cancer, now going to Leo. Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising. I hope it does, Beatrice, because the Cancer reading was one of the hardest reading I have ever read until now. It's kind of like it's 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 very it was very broad and it could have related to literally everything that happens in one's life, but it goes like this, you know. Even it could even relate to a relationship between mother and a kid, you know, where the kid doesn't want to listen to his mother, but in the same time, the mother sees that the kid is doing wrong things, you know, and instead of making, instead of trying to bruise yourself upon the kid, you act with compassion, you show that you want to make the first steps in order to rekindle back the relationship in between the you and your child, you know, instead of just giving a, a bad treatment by punishing the kid, etc., etc., it goes that kind of a way. <clears throat> well, Sioban, uh, you can probably at the end of the stream, as I said, there will be a blitz. And in that blitz, I will answer several questions from the audience uh, for free by drawing tarot cards. So uh, if you want your questions, uh, your question answered, make sure you stay to the end of my streams. And eventually, you know, you will be chosen. I don't know who I'm going to choose during this particular stream, you know, but <clears throat> we will see at the end. All right. So... Uh, that was Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising here. And we have the Queen of Cups as a topic of uh, uh, their lunar cycle. Then it's going to be the Page of Wands as a challenge. And we said mother and, chi and child. And it is what we do have here in case you are a mother. All right. <clears throat> or you are a parent in general. And then we have the Moon card, which is intention-wise. Then it's going to be the Lover's card as a lesson you need to learn. And that will be the Ten of Wands as a uh, uh, energies which are going to support you. We have totally opposite of what we had in Cancer. Here you need to leave that person, either your child, the colleague in your career, or your partner into your relationship. Someone there to your heart to experience the world from first hand. What happens here is that they will make a, a big mistake along the way. 
all right you're seeing it there is no doubt about it but they aren't seeing it and what happens here guys is that you can help them here you can help them prevent it's not going to be a disaster but it's going to be a rather poignant experience for them so what happens here is you can prevent that by interfering with their thing however they will not be able to learn their lesson from that particular period of time and they will repeat that mistake again in the future this time with difference is that you will not be there to save the day so it's and and in the future it will be uh, much more uh, the stake is going to be much higher so that being said if your child wants to experience something which is not going to um, <clears throat> you know make a huge impact on their health or um, you know on their performance in school etc etc in general is not going to ruin their life uh, even though you don't approve it very much it will be beneficial to let them at least try it at least try to have a glimpse upon it just so they can see that it is not something they really want all right we have the intentions here and intention intentions move moon to queen of uh, cups it is totally in activity it is just letting the things to happen it's just letting the things go on their own accord and uh, the challenge here is going to be the page of uh, the page of uh, wands which is exactly that particular person who does not want to sit on their butt and just be happy of what they have they want something new new enterprise new experience a new thrill uh, of chills running through their bones and you have to let them have it right now when they can re uh, when they can fix it all right instead of preventing it right now and uh, they have it in the future they will have it in the future but there uh, then you are not going to be there to prevent it <clears throat> and the lesson you need to learn with the lover's card in your particular case is that everybody um, have the right of choosing all right and you don't have the right to take away the right of choosing of those people that is the lesson because ultimately when you take away that right as the lovers is one of the karmic the karmic cards of tarot all right uh, you interfere with their karma and there will be a consequences of that and then we have the energies which are going to support you here leo this is the ten of pentacles and ten of pentacles points that uh the code of conduits or rather like the routine is not going to be uh shattered it is the word i was searching for it's not going to be shattered by any actions from the people around you that being said that the error the mistakes or the uh, how can i place it the impact of whatever that person is doing uh in your life is not going to be that severe to change totally your routine so i want to give you here an example in case this is the relationship between mother and child you know maybe your child wants to go out and party and it's going to be the first party you know in their life and you may not be very agreed into it because there is an alcohol there marijuana probably etc etc but if you uh stop him right now when the child turns 18 you cannot stop it there and at 18 they may like it while if they are 16 i guarantee you that there is a, a smaller chance for them to like those kind of substances this is just an, an example because i tried it when i was 15 both and I didn't like them at all. I don't drink and I don't smoke. Well, I don't smoke drugs. Just because I tried them re uh, when I was young and when my, when my body was developing. These kind of substances have different effect on body developing during the teenagers and during the adults, right? You know, teenagers have more like a uh, health repercussions in the sense that you get much more nauseous uh, um, the world is the world is you get much more dizzy etc etc and it's kind of like and you don't want to have that experience again but this was again just an, an example all right so now going to uh, Virgo Sun Virgo moon and Virgo rising
Um, <clears throat> for Virgo, the topic of their uh, of their lunar cycle is going to be the Moon card. Uh, then we do have the Five of Pentacles as a challenging card. Then we do have the Ace of Cups as an intentions. And um, I think that this week that I had a reading for Virgo was pretty much very similar to what I am pulling right now. <clears throat> then we do have the Four of Wands as a lesson that they need to learn. And then we have the Temperance as a an energies which are going to support you Virgo and now I understand why the weekly reading was very similar but I couldn't find because the weekly reading is not designed to find the, the core uh, not the core of the situation but the root of the issue but here we do have the root of the issue and it is in the lesson that you need to learn Things are not going very well for you, Virgos, in a certain area of your life. This is very much displayed here with the Moon and the Five of Pentacles as the both cards strengthen one another. You know, difficulties are more tight than ever and that makes the insecurity more sensible than ever. Why? We do have the Four of Wands as a lesson and this screams or rather shrieks there is an important matter that you are overlooking. Most likely in your um, friendly environment or rather like social circle or family relationship environment. There is an, a very important matter that you are overlooking. <clears throat> and that's why instead of finalizing in a very important cycle in your life, you are rotating yourself in a magic circles. So what you can do in order to uncover that particular important matter that you are overlooking, this is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups as a, uh, <clears throat> that kind of a, an explanational card. It is more about realizing, uh, how can I place it here? Mm. The Ace of Cups points toward a uh, activity which is going to happen that is going to create big joy in you all right it's going to be temp a temporary one not permanent for maybe a couple of days but it's going to create a, a big joy in you and what happens during that event that could be a, um, a vacation that you will have with your family you know it could be a date that you are going to experience with a certain person so what happens there is that all of the problem or all of the worries that you are having until this very moment will lose relevance to you all right except for one and it's going to be the one that it is the very important matter all right you are overlooking so this is how you will be able to define what so let me tell you uh for example <clears throat> you are worrying for many things all right and suddenly you get promoted or you, you get acc accoladed at your job and you realize that your job is sound and secure at that particular moment and many things lose relevance like money troubles and these kind of stuff because your job is secure, all right? But there will be something that is sitting behind your mind there. There, is, there will be still something that bothers you and this is exactly what it is the important matter that you are overlooking and which is, you know, putting your life in halt until now or until this lunar cycle. And then uh, we have the energies which are going to support you here, Virgo. That is the temperance, a very important card in your situation, points that you will keep your cool poker face. You will not freak out when you find out what is uh, truly uh, obstructing you from going forward and you will choose the right measures how to deal with it and how to tackle with it that being said the uh the resolution of your issues is going to be the less painless as possible all right so that will be a very important very important couple of weeks for you do not waste them all right just be on a watch out as soon as you feel extremely happy during these couple of weeks, there will be something that still bothers you while even though you are experiencing that happiness. And this is the thing that you need to attend straight away to and resolve it. Well, then you are a lucky one, Therese uh, or Teresa, because many don't. And that is pointed by the moon card. 
as well you know so because the moon card is about vagueness it's about feeling insecure without even knowing why you know but the moon card in the same time it is very relevant um, circumstances which are covered in blur oh and and we don't get to know them until the time is right and the time will be right in this particular week a uh, couple of weeks period of time Good evening, everyone, for those who are joining right now. All right, so next one, that will be Libra, Sun, Libra, Moon, and Libra Rising. Shim, if you want a personal reading with me, please check out my website. It is written here in the description of, uh, of this video <clears throat> or on the post of this video. And you can choose the variety of services in there. So uh, for Virgo, we do have the Hermit card, which is the topic of their lunar cycle. Then I use the Sun card as a challenge. All right. And then we do have the Four of Swords, which is the intentions Virgo needs to have. Seven of Cups is the lesson that they need to learn. And Three of Pentacles, it is the uh, energies which are going to support them. So what happens here is that the things are going to speed up very, very much for you, Virgos. And uh, you actually, they are going to catch you a very unprepared. That being said, your plans that you have created will go rapid. Uh, and uh, how can I place it? They will bolt forward and you will have a hard time keeping up with things for what it seems here. That being said, the situations will not unfold with natural speed, but with much more increased speed. And you have to be very versatile and very adaptable to the situation. So what you need to do here, um, <clears throat> we have the Hermit card as a... Uh, as a main topic and that points that at the start of this couple of weeks for example in the next couple of days uh, when the things are still calm for you you have to uh, find yourself in a very quiet place so you can make up your strategy because the next couple of weeks especially the next couple of weeks will require your intelligence your wisdom and as well your uh, subtlety all right, toward the uh, activities you are going to involve yourself in. Because the Hermit, it is as well a card pointing that you are going to take a, a very important new direction in your life, all right? And that direction is undiscovered until now. You are about to discover it. <clears throat> I just said Virgo. Uh, we are on Libra. Yeah, excuse me, guys. I get I get carried away. Yeah, that, that is for Libra. So you Libras are going to have that important direction that you need to take. And under important direction, I'm not talking about a brand new beginning, all right? That could be a very important action you need to take regarding a project of your life. Very important decision that you need to make regarding your relationship either. And th this is going to be... A, uh, a, a very important that you think about it thoroughly and uh, you take that decision or you make the strategy of the action very wisely and approach it with, inte with intelligence because you will have one shot only, one and only shot, and you have to make it count. That's why we do have the intentions here, Four of Swords, which points at calmness it is the uh, virtue of the game, or rather that is the tricks of the trade that you need to follow. As well as this card gives you a hint that there is someone you can consult yourself with. And I'm not talking about tarot reader, or I'm not talking about astrologer, numerologer, or a psychic, etc. That is a, a person very close to you, a very trusted companion of yours, which can uh, see the situation objectively for what it is, and give you their opinion and based on their opinion you will be able to really thoroughly analyze it and do what is necessary and what is substantial because what is substantial will happen during these couple of weeks then we do have the lesson you need to learn that is 
the seven of um, the seven of cups and that could be a couple of things uh, this card is, is either abated or it is either exaggerated for some of you it will mean that you have aimed way too low that, than you should have all right so you have to leave your expectations even higher but for some of you will mean completely opposite it will mean that you are aiming way too high and you need to ground yourself a little bit before you actually turn your glance upon the crest of your goals and then we do have the energies which are going to support you three of swords slow meticulous and thorough performance it is what will give you best results and you will have the patience to do it you will have the guidance and the most importantly you will be able to attract the support for your development moving on forward <clears throat> All right, so that was for Libra. Now going to Scorpio. Sun, Moon, and Sun. All right, so Scorpio, <clears throat> for us, we do have the Knight of Wands uh, as a topic of the Lunar Cycle. Then will be the Seven of Pentacles as a challenge that, you, that we need to overcome here. Eight of Pentacles is intention-wise. Then we do have the um, High Priestess as a lesson we need to learn. And then we do have the Seven of Swords as a uh, energies which are going to support you. <clears throat> Thank you, Holly. Thank you for your feedback or for your opinion for that fact. It's, um, it, it means really a lot to me. And uh, you are all amazing, guys. We are all amazing. Uh, I am just a human like you are it's just i read tarot cards for a living but someone who constructs uh, a bridges or makes uh, you know constructions of buildings they are amazing too lawyers are amazing too so i don't my point here is that i am not accepting myself something more than the average person people because you know my friends are uh for example i have a friend driver i have a friend journalist i have a friend it specialist you know i have as well a friend who is a cleaner a carpenter so it's it's i don't i don't get myself as a something more than the others all right because Sorrow is a science, one of the divine, it, even people say that it's one of the divine science, which the divine science are astrology, numerology, Kabbalah, and Tarot. These are the four divine sciences. So everything else, it is, for me at least, is makeup, but for me, you know. So even if I know it to a certain extent, because you can never know it all, um, yeah, I don't. I don't have myself as something above the other people. Anyway, so <clears throat> Scorpios, uh, you guys will be very, or we guys will be very, very busy working, all right? And this work is not going to have anything to do with making money, but it is more about making ourselves uh, available, not, not available to others, but known by others. So it's kind of like we are going to sprue the tentacles of our octopus upon the internet for example or upon the television or upon the social circles around us very profitable for retailers for people who uh, advertise things as well for uh, artists with painters you know or musicians writers as well they can really get influence and they can really be, become popular it's all about popularity here um <clears throat> scorpio that you are going to show why because you're showing how enthusiastic you are and foremost it is that you are showing that you're different 
and people see differences because the differences is what makes you special than the other Scorpio. This is the truth that we do have here. And But what we do have is that you hide those differences. You try to be like the others. Well, you don't have to because there is uniqueness within you. All right. Stop trying to be like the others. Be yourself for a change. Because this is how you're going to show how special you are for the world. Basically, this is what these three cards are pointing. And uh, then we do have the lesson you need to learn here. That will be the high priestess for you, Scorpio. And your intuition, or rather like people like to say psychic abilities, will really show forward or will show um, above everything else. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is that you need to draw the inspiration from within. And that may not mean many things to many. But let's say that you are taking shower one evening and suddenly an idea jump into your mind. All right. Something out completely out of the blue. <clears throat> you haven't thought about it, but here it is. You need to find a way to incorporate that particular idea into your career or into your relationship. As a matter of fact, as we're talking about relationship here with the high priestess, you have to aim to make an, an emotional bond on a soul level with your partner in case you do have such. All right. That will be very, very important here during this particular week. Career-wise, everything happen, happens with its time. Uh, the high priestess in career as a lesson is that you need to be patient. You need to be uh, meticulous. You need to be consistent. Consistency is the key for success for you during these couple of weeks. So I haven't been consistent lately, but I will be because I... Well, the thing is that I had to um, situate my parents here back in Bulgaria because they are coming back to live here from England, you know. And I had to deal with their situation um, until they get, you know, situated in a, a mansion. Anyway, <clears throat> so the energies which are going to support you here, this is the Seven of Swords. And I really like that card for energies because nobody will be able to steal what you do or to steal what you deal, all right? So whatever you figure out, whatever you incorporate, whatever you, um, Scorpio, uh, kind of like came up with as a decision, solution, idea, you name it, it will be yours to do. No one will be able to execute it the way you will. And that being said, this is going to make you an extremely, extremely irreplaceable asset in your company, in your relationship, in your family as well, or in your social circle. Take advantage of that. Well, Bruce, um, Well, yeah, it, it worked out. I have I have finalized everything today. So uh, the, this is a, this is what I said at the start of the stream that I am apologizing that the uh, June videos are uh, delaying. They are late because I didn't have the time. Well, I did, but this is the thing with me, guys. Uh, I cannot do multiple things per day. If I'm going to record videos today, I don't do anything else. If I'm going to help my parents, I don't do anything else. You know, if I'm going to do readings, I don't do anything else. It is how I am. It is how I function. Well, Sue, to be honest, I never enjoyed being an engineer. I really never enjoyed it. So I have been engineer only in one company, in one firm in my life. And when I have been suspended there after five years of service, I decided that I will no longer work that. I don't like it.
So uh, as I had a, uh, a one comment saying that I need to get educated, I am quite well educated, guys. <laughs> it's, it's, that was such a stupid statement. I'm sorry to say it. But yeah, I'm quite well educated. The very least, I know a couple of, of languages. And uh, I know math. I know physics. I know astronomy as well a little bit. I know a lot of things. So, which any single person who have the earning of educating themselves, you don't have to be even in a university to read books, you know, and to educate yourself. These days, diploma is something very overrated. If you can do something, you can do it. You don't need diploma of that. Yeah, exactly, Autumn. Exactly. This is what, what one actor came into our, uh, not came, but said into our country. This is a, a very, um, a very prosperable actor. And they told him, do you, by acting, do by, by acting, do you earn a lot? And he smiled and said, acting is a diagnosis. This is the way you live. If it is, if, if you do it for money, then you will never be a good actor. You have to do it for the acting itself. And as soon as you start doing it for the work itself, the money finds you with no, um, you can't, basically you can't escape it. The money finds you as soon as you start working it for the work itself. And that was with the engineering. I never enjoyed it. I never worked it for the engineering itself. I worked it so I can get paid at the end of the month. And, and it was really, uh, when I, Monday starts, I had, I so I was so looking forward for Friday evening. And this was really bothering me. So, yeah. Anyway, Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, Sagittarius Rising. We do have the Three of Pentacles as a topic of your week. Uh, of your full moon cycle of Sagittarius. Then we do have the temperance as a, a challenges that you need to overcome here. Ace of Pentacles <clears throat> as a, an intentions that you need to have. Ace of Wands as a, a lesson that you need to learn. And last but not least, we do have the King of Wands as a energy. So you are going to be a team leader or you have to unite two opposing force during this particular week. Very tough challenge, guys. We have the temperance on a challenging point here. And that speaks that you will have a, a very tough time finding a, a common ground either between you and someone that you have to negotiate or have to convince into something or if you are finding yourself in between the hammer and the anvil you know as a peacemaker in between two common <clears throat> two fighting forces um you will have a very tough time finding a common ground and uniting both fight both fighting forces uh for the common goal so how you can do it really money it is all about the money it is all about the material gains if i may say that way it may not be about money you know but it is about material gains so uh how you can approach the situation here is by saying to the both parties that if they don't cut the crap down what they are going to lose so you don't focus on what they're going to gain if they combine forces what happens if that they would think like this well I may gain it on my own, all right? But if you approach the situation from that particular angle, if you, if you, if we or you don't combine forces, you are gonna lose this, this, and this. Then they are going to be more prone to cut the crap down and to uh, actually stop fighting and start working instead. Very important. You have to be very critical to to their performance and as well to their behavior and uh you need to be very honest as well and you need to sh uh, tell them in what situation or kind of like in in what conditions you will be ready to support their development very important as well here is to uh how can i place it to make a, a very firm structure bristling structure of the advance moving forward or present them with a plan how the things are going to be done either you can present a plan your partner in your romantic relationship your boss into your career in case they don't want you to do something or they're not giving you that damn project you are after etc etc so uh 
the a lesson you need to learn that is the ace of wands and the ace of wands in your case says that any situation has a resolution if you are not seeing resol a resolution you either are not looking in the right direction or you are not looking as hard as you need to all right or you are not ready to do what it takes um yeah the sun sign is uh the month you are born the ascendant sign is defined by the hour of um of your birth and the moon sign is where your moon falls in your chart all right so um energy wise we do have the the king of wands and likewise leo i think was likewise you will have the ability to combine those people or rather like your presence of a natural born leader there is going to be boosted that being said you are not going to show any weaknesses whatsoever but in the same time you're going to present yourself as a very strong and capable person but the key here to utilize those energy sagittarius is, is to uh, how can i place it is to demand a lot to have a a lot of, uh, of uh, to have a, a high expectations of those people all right so the people need to have the people you try to um combine with need to have the sense that they will not just prevent losses but they are have the privilege to work with you all right well pretty much yeah the ascendant is where your first house start from all right All right, so next one, that will be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising. The Emperor is the topic of your week, Capricorns. Uh, then we do have the King of Pentacles as a, a challenge that you need to overcome. Very buffling. One second. Then we do have the Eight of Cups as a lesson that you need. Uh, not a lesson, but intention-wise. Huh. All right. So uh, Seven of Wands, it is the lesson that you need to learn. And then is the seven of uh, pentacles, which is the energies that you need to, that, that is going to support you here. So one second. All right, first things first, Capricorns. <clears throat> Eight of Cups does points that intention wise is that, um, you have to uh, distinguish the, the despondent events in your life and stop contributing into them. In other words, realizing where your efforts are wasted and where your efforts actually give results. Uh, that being said, only way to do so is to uh, completely, um, how can I place it, <clears throat> completely wipe away the chaos around you that being said you need to establish control upon your family you need to establish control upon your career and you need to establish control upon your relationship in case you're going through these kind of stuff uh you can totally do so but you have to be a little bit more um demanding and how can i place it you need to show that you can rule with an iron hand as well you need to uh exert a certain plans into it and not to mention that you need to show yourself very very responsible the challenge will be to make the others do the same thing all right so um in other words you cannot be everywhere 
that is uh, very understandable here. And under everywhere, I mean that you cannot make a, a flawless performance into your career and into your relationship. One needs to go in front of other. That being said, you need to choose which, all right? And by choosing which the other, you just need to let go, uh, not let go, but let it go with the current or go with the current with it, all right? So that being said, for you, these couple of weeks, Capricorns, are going to be more like um, regaining back control upon your life, all right? Uh, because it does look like that you are swimming against the current right now, and by swimming against the current, the only thing that you are going to accomplish is struggling, because this is what people do. You, when you swim against it, you struggle, and you, you go, you're going backwards, so you have to stop doing that. For example, just to give you an example, um, if you are planning a vacation but your husband doesn't want to go there or your wife doesn't want to go on that vacation, well, stop planning it. The world ain't going to end if you don't go on a vacation. You just, you know, leave it, let it go and, and start planning something else which you both actually be um, happy with. And uh, as Terry says here, need control the lack of control it is because you're trying something you're trying to control something that cannot be controlled by you because it is not yours to control that being said you gotta let it go all right you, you just need to it is the same thing for example you may try to control your boss you may try to control your co-worker or your child even and it, while it is true that you have gave life to your child it is their life it is not yours you know, and you cannot control their life. You can, but believe me, I have been a, um, I have been a uh, um, witness to such kind of behavior, and the backlash is very severe. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. Anyway, so this is a different story. Then we do have the lesson you need to learn. That will be the seven <clears throat> of pentacles. And Seven of Pentacles in your particular case does expresses the, um, how can I place it here? Uh, I'm really trying to find the correct words. Mm. Does expresses the nurturing of a, a very fragile, um, very fragile state, all right? That whatever... Uh, whatever you are not, you are incapable to make uh, to to establish a control upon. Even even if it doesn't work out very well for you guys, um, you can still you know make something out of it. So it is not lost forever. It is just well, let me try to explain it that way. Uh, even that this current situation in a certain field of your life is unsatisfiable. A a new perspective in that same field is going to emerge soon so basically what happens here is that you just have to take it easy that is the whole point of the reading for the next couple of weeks you just take it easy and whatever has to happen it's going to happen and uh, you need to take care for your own structure and for your own life your family and the rest just let them just go to you know where and uh, the energies which are going to support you here, that will be the Seven of Pentacles. And Seven of Pentacles points that you will be very conservative uh, with your energy and with your, for, uh, with your uh, efforts for good. What I mean is that you're not going to waste anything. You're not going to waste any money. You're not going to waste any time. You're not going to waste any hopes either. All right. So you will have very low expectations. And that is awesome because <clears throat> if you have low expectations, you don't presume anything, and whoever doesn't stand in your way for good or bad in their fate is not your concern, then you will never be disappointed. And that is the point here, that you will not be disappointed due to this uh, particular couple of weeks, even though some of, your, some of the situations you are involved in will not be satisfiable for you. <clears throat> All right, so next one, that will be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising. Heather, I at the start of the video, I did explain if you are 
the, the moon of that sign, what the reading represents for you. If you are ascendant of it, what the reading represents, I will say it again. So if you are, um, for example, now we are at Aquarius. If you are Aquarius sun, then the reading will show you what you're going to uh, what what you're gonna go through all right if you are uh, uh, Aquarius moon then the reading represents how you're going to feel during this uh, particular couple of weeks and if you are uh, Aquarius rising then the reading represents how you uh, should face uh, what you're gonna go through that being said if you listen to your rising moon and ascendant sign you will know what you're going to go through, how you're going to feel about it, and how you have to face it so you can end up... Um, <clears throat> what days do you die? What do you mean, Nicholas? We die when we die. Well, Diana, you go to Astrologer, or if you can create a chart, there is a plenty of websites which create your chart, and there you can see where your moon is, etc., etc. So, query says, Wheel of Fortune, it is what we do have for your topic of the lunar cycle, then it is the four of, uh, of wands as a challenges you, you have to go through. <clears throat> Eight of wands is intention-wise. Uh, then we do have the lesson you need to learn that will be the devil card and last but not least we do have the page of swords which is the challenges uh, not the challenges but the energies that are going to support you so what happens here is that you are going to have a break from the um you're going to have a break from the seriousness of life. Now, these couple of weeks will be all about enjoyment because we do have the four of wands as a, uh, in a challenging position, which points that it is very unlikely that a, an important stuff are going to happen during these couple of weeks. You know, if you are waiting for a, a very busy uh, routine into your career because you're expecting big projects, etc., etc., or if you think that your uh, relationship is going to um, consume a lot of your time, that is most likely not going to happen. What will happen instead for you, Aquarius, is, is that you will have many versatilities to choose from, which means that you can have um, these couple of weeks the way you want them. You can spend them with friends, you can spend them pubbing, you can spend them, uh, spend them reading, you can spend them playing video games, for example, etc, etc. You will have all the time in the world and you will have all the opportunities in the world. So that being said, what the reading here says to you guys is that you should be much more light than you are uh, until right now. Put your seriousness on the shelf and go experience the world as someone else. All right. In other words, try to uh, experience every single enterprise coming in your way because none of them is going to be poignant. I promise you that. And despondency is not what you're going to face during these couple of weeks. As a matter of fact, one of those kind of enterprises here could be one in a lifetime opportunity. We have the Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Wands, guys. <clears throat> that speaks for a, a huge surprise coming in in these couple of uh, weeks for you, which is going to make your time running very pleasant, which is going to make you feel like on the top of the world, the luckiest person in this world as well, and is going to, uh, for some reason, is going to as well allow you to resolve some issues on your behalf, because the Wheel of Fortune is a, a situation placed back in stir, all right? So, situations... With, situation which were set in how back in the past now is set back in stir 
And it's all about the devil car, really, which is the lesson you need to learn. And the devil is the yearning of the soul. And if the yearning of the soul is not fulfilled and not satisfied, nothing really can be achieved because you will never be happy of even the happiest thing that can happen in one life. All right. So first, you need to nurture the need of, of your soul, Aquarius. Uh, you need to uh, kind of like address that hunger within you. Some may have the hunger for ventures, others for uh, traveling, third, like I said, for video games, for example, you know, um, or for alcohol, etc., etc. I'm not saying that you need to drown yourself into alcohol. I am saying that you need to uh, spoil yourself a little bit in these couple of weeks, because this will really have that cleansing and nurturing effect, and you will be able to recharge yourself and become more serious when uh, these couple of weeks end, so you can return back to your duty here in the Four of Wands, which points that uh, you will have a lot of work to do and because a, a development is coming, a, a competition of a cycle it is coming. That could be a, a project you have prepared for a quite a long time being started after these couple of weeks. That could be your relationship becoming much more serious than it is right now. So uh, accept it like a... Um, the last party before wedding all right i don't know how you call it in english um <clears throat> you know the last party before you get wedding where the male goes with its friend on strippers same thing uh, does the female i don't know how you call it in english anyway so the energies which are going to support you here we do have the page of swords and this is a about uh it is very good because these energy points that you will be able to uh it's not even learning, but obtaining a lot of vision, all right? By you um, addressing the needs of your soul, by you uh, sa satisfying that hunger deep down within you, there will be a, a huge insight coming in your way as an energy here. <clears throat> the energy is going to give you that particular insight. And with that insight, your thought will become much more independable than it was uh, right now. And that was for uh, Aquarius now going, last but not least, Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Ascendant. Remember that after Pisces, there will be a blitz, which uh, means that I will answer uh, questions from the auditory by drawing tarot cards. Yeah, bachelor, bachelor party or whatever is spelled, you know. I don't know how you call it in English. Uh, literal translation from my language is going to be sweeter party. All right, so Pisces, Five of Cups is the uh, topic of your uh, lunar cycle. Then we do have the Four of Pentacles, which is the core of your, uh, not the core of your situation, but uh, the challenges that you need to overcome. Uh, King of Swords, it is the uh, intentions that you need to show. Nine of Pentacles, it is the lesson that you need to learn. And Eight of Wands, it is uh, the energies which are going to support you. So what happens here is that you're going to be abandoned uh, from support. Uh, what I'm trying to say, this is not a, um, a being abandoned from uh, your boyfriend or a girlfriend, okay, from your partner. We're talking about help that you are relying on is no longer be presented to you or no longer will be offered to you, which is going to require a, an adaptation or rather complete traversal in your strategies. So you have to rethink and restructure all of your plans regarding either your career or regarding either your relationship. And you may feel very despondent about it, even though you may feel very desperate about it because uh, you may feel that or kind of like you may think that you will not be able to do it without particular help. Well, guess what? You will be because we do have the King of Swords. And what the King of Swords is, it is a, a person... <clears throat> 
are very capable to push everything through this is a person which the uh, this is you pisces all right this is your intentions this is the personality you need to adopt and uh the king of swords is ruthless king of swords is tenacious king of swords um feel no remorse for pity nor fear nor commiserations and king of swords uh is uh, adopts the standpoint that the results justifies the means all right so you if you want to have what you are after you have to adopt that particular standpoint again uh, remember that this is a, a general reading all right and you may choose to go for it you may choose not to go for it but what i can tell you is that you're going is going to be very hard because we do have the four of pentacles sitting on a, a challenging position and uh, uh when we do have four of pentacles into challenging position it does speaks that you will have to defend yourself quite a lot you know there will be a lot of attacks most likely from people trying to push you out of your comfort zone trying to make you feel bad trying to make you look bad as well trying to make you look incapable uh, trying to uh, make you kneel if you want to say it that way and you need to totally totally show how the game is played on these people being um, compassionate being filled with commiserations as I said and being indecisive is something that you cannot afford unfortunately due to that lunar uh, due to that lunar cycle because pisces five of cups for the topic points that you may experience loss if you don't realize that you will be the one who has to save your day there won't be anyone else all right and if you don't do whatever it takes then you will have the, you will have to deal with the loss coming in your way here all right so this is the loss the three falling cups but behind you what you don't realize is that there is there is more than that there is still what you need to fight for but you have to do it on your own <clears throat> and that is pretty much displayed here with the nine of pentacles all right the lesson that you need to learn nine of pentacles is one of the most singularity card in tarot it points that you do have the skills you do have the experience you do have the necessary abilities resources as well and acute sense of how you can do it all that you need to do is believe in yourself all right so you you, you need to have the self-belief and that will be the thing which is going to feed up the um, the state you got to adopt here, all right? Which is the King of Swords. Now I'm saying that because uh, I know that uh, I have a very good friend astrologer, and I know the Pisces are very sensitive, all right? The Pisces are very emotional, and adopting the state of King of Swords. I don't know that this I don't know how this is going to happen with ease with Pisces because the as I said King of Swords is ruthless King of Swords does not care of anybody but himself and his family all right or in in uh, his children let's say that way all right it doesn't care for anything else everything else for the King of Swords is strength he is surreptitious sneaky ready to smother everything in front of him um, in general so you have to be very rough you need to you need to make the hard calls here or the tough calls all right <clears throat> uh do i have any tools for pisces to believe in themselves well diana if you don't believe in yourself then how can i how can you expect anybody else to believe in you i mean this is if the same thing goes with love if you don't love your even um i think even uh, in bible is written or, or one of the prophets said it um god asks you to first love yourself and then you can love everything else because if you cannot love yourself if you hate yourself how do you expect to cherish and to recognize the love of others you know same thing goes with respect if you don't have a self-respect 
<clears throat> how you can expect anybody else to respect you if you don't have self-confidence? How can I expect that anybody else is going to be confident in you? All right. And last but not least, we do have the Eight of Wands, which points the energy is going to support you guys, Pisces. And this card points that you will be very, very swift with your retaliation on those attacks coming in. Or in another words, you will be able to fortune tell for where those attacks which are meant to throw you off balance and to drag you off your comfort zone will come from. And you will have the timing or kind of like you will have that window of time to diminish or kind of like extinguish the threat before the threat actually be born all right so you will be uh foretold by either your intuition or by either some circumstances that only you can make a deduction from what is yet to happen etc etc so listen to your intuition and to your logic as well they will not lie to you during this particular uh, couple of weeks so pretty much <clears throat> that was for the 12 all right and uh, i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again uh now we are gonna go for the free readings here by me answering several questions from the audience uh, <clears throat> of you guys uh and the questions will be totally random by the way i will just scroll up and down and whatever question i uh, fall into i will uh read for it <clears throat> But in case you do want more profound reading or you are not lucky to be picked <coughs> during this uh, blitz, uh, you can check out my website and purchase a reading from there. As you all know, I'm not an engineer anymore and tarot is my uh, profession. I do it for a living. So, yeah, pretty much <coughs> if you want a personal reading, again, go to my website and you will find variety of services there. As soon as the purchase goes through, I'm going to contact you for scheduling a, 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 a appropriate time for both of us. Now, I want to say that my website is undergoing a, a maintenance and as well as some reconstructions. So uh, watch carefully what kind of a price PayPal demand on you and what kind of a price is written. The one written on the website, it is the correct one. PayPal does weird things and it may demand a little bit more money from you. In case that happens, email me directly on the contact blank <clears throat> on my website and I will send you a li link with the correct price where you can make your purchase in case that happens. All right. <clears throat> so go now ask uh, ask your question guys uh, questions excuse me and i will shuffle ah nancy time periods time periods are a, a matter of personal reading i need a full spread in order to able to tell you a uh, a time frame that being said cannot be answered with uh, with one tarot card and I only draw one tarot card for a free readings here. I'm sorry that I cannot give you the answer you seek in these sessions. So let's see uh, the card for Teresa, uh, Teresa or Teresa. We do have for you, Teresa, the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> so uh, Teresa says, Rat, thank you. Please draw me, uh, draw a card for me. Ace of Swords. So first things first, this card it is about being very accurate about the diagnosis of your situation. That being said, Teresa, you may be lying to yourself right now. So you have to be more logical. But the Ace of Swords does point. All right. Listen, this is very important here. It does point that the uh, the struggle you're going through eventually is going to make you burst in such a way that the improvement of your circumstances is going to be imminent. So in other words, you will no longer be able to stand what it is going on around you in a certain field in your life. And you will make those heroic attempts and not just attempts, but heroic push to improve the circumstances in that field. <clears throat> Well, Patty, personally, I don't believe in gifts, all right? People say for me that I have a gift and that I am a psychic. Every astrologer who sees my chart says, oh, my God, you are a psychic. I, I don't 
find myself like such you know people will say that my intuition is very spot on etc etc but it's i don't believe in gifts all right so i cannot answer you that question i'm sorry <clears throat> All right, so I'm seeking for a uh, interesting question. Now, this is the purpose of Taro here, as Corina Carpachao is asking a question. This is the best question, best type of question you can ask the card. What uh, the cards? What would happen if I get back together with an, an ex lover? This is the reason and the purpose for Tarot, to uh, explore options available. The cards are not meant to take a decision for you, all right? That being said, these are the type of questions which the Tarot cards, and as a matter of fact, any kind of other fortune-telling science gives the best results. And what will happen, Corina, is that probably that guy is going to cheat on you again here with the uh, Knight of Wands. This is what is going to happen. For him, this is just a, a game, game. So should you go for it or not, that is entirely up to you. Well, Amy, I already read for Gemini, and uh, you can re-watch the, um, the replay of the video once I'm done. So, one second, guys. So, Dasha, is uh, she wants a, a card for Dasha Belskaya. I think that's Russian, eh? Is it not? Or something from the Slovenian uh, nations. Uh, so, would it be possible to pull a card for me? Anything in relationship field? And you get lucky here with the two of uh, with the two of cups. Does either points to the appearance of someone who you can whom you can make a, a very deep emotional connection with, or a, a big love is coming in your way from one card. That, nonetheless reading for relationship this is a, a love card all right so you are going to fall in love and it's going to be mutual the only thing that can ruin the the situation for you or the only thing that can blow the whole thing up is the shyness don't be shy don't be shy excuse me make contact thank you Beatrice thank you Monafi, I'm sorry about your brother, uh, but I would rather not answer to that question. Not because, I mean, events. I can I can answer to it with a uh, with other system which I don't use unless it's not specifically uh, requested from the client. The system of uh, fortune telling it is called a Norman system. All right. And the Lenormand system is created by, let's say, a witch. All right. So I believe that it has to do something with witchcraft. And unless it's not specifically requested from the client, I don't read with those cards. So Beatrice asks for a relationship card for her. And we have the Nine of Swords. Uh, first of all, with this card, uh, in case you are in relationship, that card points that you are way too cautious about your approach because you are either afraid that your partner is going to leave you even in, a mind, in the milder mistake you do and they are exploiting, you know, that kind of a state of yours and they get to get away with everything they do, right? So you have to be much more harder, Beatrice, so you can... Uh, maintain equilibrium into your relationship in case you are not you aren't in relationship with the nine of swords this card does point that you have very abated opinion for yourself and you need to aim higher all right <clears throat> or rather like you need to step into the spotlight so uh denise Denise de Blaker, uh, um, 
the Blaker. Yeah, I, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. What do I need to bring a, a positive shift in my family relationship? Family relationship. Do you have a child, Denise? So we do have the Knight of Cups. And if you do have a child, this card does point that you need to let that child do whatever they are after. All right. You should not try to establish any control upon their activities whatsoever. If you are going to say something to them or do something in their regard, it should be only about supporting in their development and not to obstruct them whatsoever. Do not think that you know better than they that they do. All right. And if this isn't about a child, then uh, this card is about following the dreams of your heart. So whatever you want to do in your family, like traveling, you know, like making some parties, enterprise, etc. Basically do what makes you happy in it. Because if you're not happy of the code of conduit, it's time to change that code of conduit. Thank you, Dasha. Uh, Demi, I don't read for a, a medical related questions. Uh, so, Tabitha Baxter, I just started my business, she says. Was that a good idea? Well, it's always a good idea, Tabitha. It is just, you know, it depends what you are expecting, all right? So what you're going to get from your business here is that we do have the Six of Cups. Not much of a profit, at least not in the next year, all right? With this card, it is more about uh, establishing the pattern here and being more creative. So you, you, you have to make it your own way, all right? You have to make it the way that it is comfortable for you. And that is going to take time. Enjoy that time. You can't expect much of an income, but with this card, you should have just as much as to face your expenses. Well, then, Beatrice, it is time for you to go out and start dating people, you know, because probably you look better than you think you look with the Nine of Swords. All right, one more. Matt Farmer. Looking to hear something from work this week regarding a promotion. You have a new beginning here with the full car, but this isn't a typical promotion car. All right. So it does look like that there will be something, but it doesn't look like a promotion. The full card, when it comes into career, it does speak for new project. Maybe they will ask you to uh, prove yourself even further by giving you additional project. All right. Something like this. It's, I don't think that it's going to be promotion in the way you are expecting it. It's going to be milder. But you need to know that this particular activity here marked with the full card, it can go for a long run. So you have to be very energetic and optimistic. And not necessarily, you will not know uh, the majority of the things you need to do. You are going to start learning. There will be a lot of creative chaos, it is what I'm trying to say here. And <clears throat> you know, when utilized correctly, correctly not just you're going to show yourself very com uh, capable of adapting yourself into an environment, situations in team as well, but also you are going to show openness and capability of learning. And that is a, a huge deal about promotion. I know that much. So um, 
that being said guys thank you all for watching this was all for tonight uh, all for tonight's stream and again it was an, an honor to be your host for the full moon into sagittarius happened today on may 29 2018 uh, again if you want a a personal reading with me everything you need to know about it is listed here in the description of this video just check out my website and in case there is a any mismatch in the uh, prices and what the paypal demands from you you know the written price in the paypal demands from you this is because my website is undergoing maintenance and reconstruction and in that particular case just email me guys and i will send you a link with the correct price all right so uh again just take it easy this is these were these readings were a uh, general readings the um you know the, the the resonancy is going to be different for every single one of us guys so don't think that this is carved in stones we do always have the right to choose our path this these readings will just make you more aware of what is yet to come so you can make your decisions much accurately that being said this was all for tonight from me and we're going to see each other next time until then bye